version which you then download. Now, obviously, you need to have all done If you haven't that, already done that, it's at too this late point. because the risk is if you connect to Xbox Live. Then the game script app could be. The license for the game script app could be revoked when connecting to Xbox. So, Live. unfortunately, that application is required at least for this initial so version. So, if you don't already have that application, you will not be able to run the Just have to wait for the next iteration of this script, which to will release. pull the files off the network instead. And that way, you won't require a uh, the advanced file explorer in future versions. But in this initial version, it is unfortunately required. Now, obviously, there are some people in the past who have been connecting risking. to Xbox Live just to grab any additional like applications. the advanced file explorer. Full trust version and obviously that is something that you could do. But I'm definitely not recommending Because it. there have apparently been reports of Microsoft deactivating the game script app when you connect to Xbox Live. So that is a risk if you are gonna take that risk. That is up to but you. But I personally wouldn't take that risk and then on top of that, you've also got the fact that if a new firmware as update well comes and out, you get prompted for a system update, and if that that update patches the exploits, then again you're not gonna be able to do this anymore. So next it says the reverse shell example provided here requires that your console is connected to a network. When connecting your console to a network, be very careful to avoid connecting to the internet and updating. Try to block connectivity to Xbox Live as much as possible. At the very possible. least by setting your DNS to invalid servers. So the exploit itself requires a network connection. Because your Xbox is connecting to your computer. Your computer is running like a listener. And your Xbox is connecting to it. So that you it. can then on your computer access the Xbox remotely. That's kind of how the exploit because works. Because your Xbox is required to connect In to the network. In order for this to work, you do need to be careful about not also connecting to the to internet. Xbox Live. So then it goes on to say that the exploit is not it fully relies reliable. on a CPU side channel as well as a raise condition. Both of which have the potential to fail. In the event of a failure, the exploit will alert you that it has failed via network output, or the console itself may crash and reboot. So next we have our usage modify line 7 of game script. UHAutosave.x to contain your local IP address. And then you just copy the text file. The stage to and the run. To the local state directory of the game script On your console, so basically this location here. You need to copy the, those files to that location using the Advanced File Explorer. Full trust version, then you just listen to port 70. 70 on your PC using Netcat or a similar tool. So Netcat or SoCat, something like that using the command here. And then you just open the game script application on your console. You age select the show code run window and run the code once. If the exploit is successful, you should see output on your PC that resembles the following which is something like this. So then you have future work for this exploit side loading support. Unsigned. Non-UWP process launching and SSH support coming in the future. Yeah, if you don't have the advanced file explorer, Unfortunately, you will not be able to run this right now. You'll have to wait for the next iteration. That will allow you to load these files over the network connection. Instead, so we did get an example from Emma of the exploit loading. If you don't have the full file explorer loaded, you'll be able to see exactly what it's like so here. So essentially, you run the netcat command, the listener on your computer, and then you run the script, of course, on the Xbox itself. And then once you do that, it should connect directly to your computer. That's why you have to put the IP address of Obviously your computer. in the script before you copy it over to the Xbox. And then what you'll see here is that we get the connection from the Xbox itself. And then you can use this shell to access the file system. You can see her entering the dear command to list directories. She can create new files, copy and paste files. All that kind of stuff so you basically have full access or pretty much full access to the file system of the Xbox using this. And of course, it's not just file system because access. Because you should be able to remotely run applications stored on the Xbox using this as well. Which could open up some interesting opportunities. And you can then use something like this to then trigger the Xbox file dumping process in the vermin tied to game by essentially using this to copy over the modified Lua script and edit the save file that way so that you can then launch the save on the game and get it to mount to the game directly which can then be used to dump the game files so yeah that gives you kind of the full access there to your Xbox
But obviously, there's still homebrew there's to There's still, come. you know, things that need to be streamlined to make this and easier. obviously, the full trust file explorer. Getting rid of the requirement for that is probably gonna be the next step. But, uh, yeah. That is essentially where we are with that. So if you're wondering why I'm not showing this running footage, on my own Xbox, I unfortunately have some bad news in that I regard. might not be able to cover this hack in much detail in future. Because my Xbox hard drive has recently died on me. At least it seems that way. I've been turning it on recently. It's been slow. Sometimes it's not booted and I thought that's and kind of weird. And now it's just not booting at all. I can't get the console to and boot And I'm up. hearing a slight clicking sound so inside. So I think it might have the click of death. Which basically means the hard drive is completely screwed. Which is terrible. Because that is obviously what has the and game script And everything is set up on that hard drive. So yeah, we'll see. I can maybe try see if I can get it to, to load on my computer. I might try cloning it to another drive if it's accessible. But I don't know, it's not looking good in that regard, so yeah. This might be as far as it goes with the Xbox hack for because me. Because I don't have another Xbox console right now that has game script on it, so, uh, yeah. And fortunately, this could be the end of the line with me with this exploit. But we'll see, I'll see what I can I'm do. I'm gonna look into several different things, um. You know, I don't know anybody who's selling a console that's actually- I got actually. everything set up on it. If, if you do and you're in the UK, please let me know, but, uh, yeah. That's, that's unfortunate, so, but anyway. Thought I would bring you guys the this The exploit update. has now been released. But you are gonna have to if wait. If you don't have the advanced file explorer with full trust enabled. So anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed this video or found if the information did, useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and.